Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to discuss another topic with our work with fractions and mixed numbers. Today we're going to subtract mixed numbers when you need to do some regrouping. It's really important that you follow with me step by step. Make sure you have paper and pencil ready. If you don't, then pause the video and go get it. Let's start off with a mixed number of three and one fifth minus one and three fifths. Right away, we always start off with the fraction part of our mixed number. So I have one fifth minus three fifths. We don't have enough fifths. If I have one fifth, I can't give you three of them. So I need to get more fifths. I'm going to get more fifths from my whole number. My whole number is three. I'm going to regroup this mixed number to get more fifths. So I'm going to write an equal sign because I'm not going to change its value. I'm going to change the way it looks. I'm going to take one hole away. So I'm going to be left with two holes. Now when I take that hole away, I need to call that hole something that's going to help me with my subtraction. So a fraction that is equal to a hole is a unity fraction. I'm going to call that one hole that I took away five fifths. So my three just became two and five fifths. And I also have the one fifth from before. So my three, this three here, became two and five fifths. I didn't change its value in any way, but I also still have that one fifth. So now all together, I'm going to have three and six fifths. Lots of you might be thinking, oh my gosh, Mrs. Pirro, you made an improper fraction. That's right, I did that on purpose. When you are regrouping in order to subtract, you are going to create an improper fraction because you're taking a whole and adding it to your fractional part. So now I have three and six fifths. Now I have enough to subtract one and three fifths. Six, six, six fifths minus three fifths gives me three fifths. Three minus one is two. So my final answer is two and three fifths. Let's try another one. Let's try four and two sevenths minus two and five sevenths. So again, we need to notice, uh-oh, I don't have enough sevenths. What am I going to do? I'm going to regroup the way this looks so that I get more sevenths. I'm going to change my four. I'm going to take one hole away. That leaves me with three holes. Now, what should I call that one hole I took away? I'm gonna call it a unity fraction. Which kind of unity fraction will I use? Well, I wanna give sevenths, so I'm gonna call it seven sevenths. So my four holes became three and seven sevenths. But don't forget, I also have those two sevenths there. So it's my three and seven sevenths plus my two sevenths means altogether I have three and nine sevenths. I've made an improper fraction. That's what I need to do. Now I can subtract the two and five sevenths and that nine minus five will be four sevenths. Three minus two is one seventh. So my answer is one and four sevenths. Let's do another one together because this is a bit hard before you go off on your own. Let's try five and two ninths minus two and four ninths. Okay, I want you to pause the video, try that on your own. What you should have done is gone to your five holes. 
and changed it to be four and nine ninths. Plus, we're going to add the two ninths we had before. So this whole amount is now going to be equal to four and eleven ninths minus my two and four ninths. That making eleven minus four is going to be seven ninths. Four minus two is two. Two and seven ninths. Now this middle part is really, really important. But sometimes people don't like to have to rewrite it so much. So I'm going to show you how you can do the same work in a shorter form. Let's try this one. Copy down the question, four and one fourth minus two and three fourths. Solve it by yourself if, if you can. And I'm gonna show you the shorter way to do the work. So if I'm going to regroup, because I only have one fourth, I don't have enough to give you three fourths. I'm gonna take my four, and instead of rewriting the whole thing on the side, I'm gonna make a three here. And then next to my one fourth, I'm going to write plus four fourths, which equals five fourths. So that's the same idea as we did before, but it's a bit shorter. So now I can subtract five fourths minus three fourths gives me two fourths, and three minus two equals one. One and two fourths.